Hey you guys and welcome back to another motivational clean with me. Today I'm going to be sharing cleaning our whole apartment. We have upstairs and downstairs to clean and organize. We haven't shared a motivational cleaning video this week due to being so busy you guys but we've had a lot of family related things going on outside of YouTube along with the seasonal ripping and running. I'm sure we all can relate to that. This year we feel like Christmas came at about 160 miles per hour. We were ready and then again we weren't. Ever since we moved into our apartment, we've had a lot of issues behind the scenes, causing us to have to seriously be out and about getting things done face to face instead of over the phone. With it being the holiday season and being so busy, we were able to get things done that way and I am happy, but it did take a little bit. So even though we've been away, I wanted to share a cleaning and organizing we were able to get done. Between our kids, Jake was starting a new journey, work, emails, and ripping and running, I tried to film as much as I could for you guys. I think I filmed seven days worth, so in the upcoming days, we have a lot to share. If you're new here and you enjoy motivation like this, I would love to have you join our family. We do it all over here and my number one goal each time I post is not only to motivate you guys, but let y'all know that we are all in this together. We all might lead different lives, but I try to keep this as realistic as possible so you guys know there is someone else out there just like you trying and honestly, we'll get through this together. So on my birthday, I ordered some candles from Luxurious Ambiance. They arrived right on time, y'all. I was so happy. I've never gotten candles from any place other than Walmart or Target or even Grove. And I'll be honest, I've never had candles that smelled this amazing. With our space being smaller and having our assignment, we wanted candles and roof freshener that were just on point at all times. My friend Ebony started her candle business this year, and each candle is hand poured with love, y'all. She is a military wife, a stay at home mom, and a work from home mom. She dedicates herself and works so hard in this shows, y'all. Her candles are so insanely beautiful and smell so good. I picked up her holiday sample tins, room and linen spray, along with the five ounce candle in the scent Christmas morning. Ebony did give me a candle in the scent blessings for my birthday, and y'all, it was just a oh so happy day filled with the blessing from a special friend i was so happy it all came wrapped up nice and neat you could seriously smell the candles before you even open the box i promised the box sat on my tv stand for like a couple hours and you could smell it when you walked in our living room it was so nice and neat. Even her phone was cute, pink, and heart-shaped. I loved it. So I wanted to set our candles out all nice and neat. This is the display that I had at first, but we've since transformed the living room, and it's a little different now. But along with my candles, I also received like a candle care card that told me a lot of important things I didn't know. But now I do, and if you don't know things like that, Ebony can tell you all about it, so make sure you guys check her out.
In our kitchen, we have been dumping and going like every single day. We didn't really stop to clean, but of course we did make sure to at least run a dishwasher. But our stove was off the chain, y'all. It was completely disgusting. I had to go in with our regular kitchen cleaning routine. And while I'm here, I just want to answer a few questions. I recently had one of you guys ask why do I wash our dishes before placing them in a dishwasher and the reason I do this is because whenever our food like sits out on the counter for a long time the food will get stuck on our plate and it's really hard to get off and then it'll cause us to have to like run our dishwasher once or twice and then sometimes food will even get stuck inside of our dishwasher so I just like to go ahead rinse our dishes off wash them off whatever need be before I put them in the dishwasher that way I don't have to deal with running it twice I don't have to worry about any food being stuck inside of our dishwasher for the filter now don't get me wrong sometimes we get really good dishwasher pods and we don't have to run it twice whether there is food stuck on or not but sometimes we don't have those dishwasher pods and I just have to go ahead and rinse them off before placing them in there My go-to cleaner is always the Thieves Cleaners. I know a lot of you guys use vinegar mix or even bleach. I think that's okay too and I will on occasion as well, especially bleach if I'm deep cleaning. But for everyday use, I love my Thieves. It's not only good for cleaning, but it is really so good for immune support and I get to add other essential oils for other added benefits and also the smell. I cannot get away from that.
here in our dining room, I have some organizing that needs to be done. Over the next few days, you guys will see a lot of organizing actually. And if you haven't seen our pantry organizing video, make sure you check that out because I have so much more motivation to share with you guys. Aside from that, today we're going to be working in the dining room. We have this white cart. You guys know the backstory. And if you don't, I apologize. Anywho, I went back and forth on what to use this for. And here you guys see me sorting through it to get it prepped for our kids' schoolwork. But I've since found like a much better place for their schoolwork. So in the future, like we might have to get rid of this. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and get the dining room all clean and organized. And also wanted you guys to know too that I finally got rid of the shelf that holds the microwave. And I'm so excited. The chest of drawers we had in our dining room is just full of unnecessary small objects from around the apartment. I wanted to use this for our extra kitchen supplies for guests, but it ended up coming to me moving this out of the dining room after I cleaned and organized it, so it's actually not even here anymore. Today, I did just want to go ahead and get it clean and organized. I ended up wiping it out, and then later on you guys will see where it is moved to, but you'll have to stay until the end of the video for that. So the shelving unit beside our kitchen, I keep getting so many questions or not really questions, just comments asking why I'm not using this huge space, quote unquote, huge space for our pantry. I feel that I've said like why so many times. So all I can say at this point, or I guess ask you guys is what would be the pushing reason for you to make this area a pantry when you have a walk-in closet in your dining room that doesn't have a washer and dryer hookup or outlet? Me personally, y'all know what I would go with, but I know I want to know why you would choose this space over that space if you did.
upstairs in all the bedrooms i needed to clean organize and change all of our bedding we already had loads and loads of laundry and the last thing i wanted to do was get it all done and see that i had forgotten our bedding so we tackled this on this day as well If you're wondering why the boys TV isn't up, it's because we're waiting to get their new bed. We want to make sure that since it is going on the wall that it's low enough and not too high since they do have the bunk bed and they're going to be switching beds and dressers.
I've gotten a few questions about the boys bed and the ceiling fan so I wanted to answer that as well. It is pretty close but it doesn't bother any of us really whenever we are on top unless we are up there just creating havoc. I still do want to switch the boys bed for something much more functional so we'll be sharing the perfect bed that we have in store for them very soon so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss the bedroom transformation. We're going to be getting rid of the bunk bed and the dresser so I'm excited about that. In the back seat, wide awake is the way that you left me. Oh, now it's clear we are here back at your house, and I keep fading into the background. I'm wide awake now, you keep missing out for sure. Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, break by break now. hallway I had a few things to pick up like laundry and everything that's over here and I also wanted to go in and clean the bathroom but first we wanted to just go ahead and get started in London's room because I have to get her bed made so that's where we're going to be going after the hallway clean London's room on camera too but for some reason I could not find the clips at all I went ahead and cleaned up her bedroom I organized her closet and we also went ahead and removed her toy bin that you guys see here out of her closet but like I said I lost those clips and I wasn't able to share that with you guys but I did get this clean today as well so right now I'm just going to go ahead and go in and pick up the rest of the things get her bed made and wipe everything down I did go ahead and organize all of her toys because if you guys saw over on my Instagram story our babies were literally spoiled rotten this year by family and friends we haven't even received anything that we got for them yet this year so far so for sure this is going to be a Christmas to remember we didn't originally know what was going to happen with all that life has hit us with and it was just a blessing to see our babies be so blessed like this like y'all it was tears coming down my face y'all i share what they have so far over on my instagram like i said so make, so make sure you are following me there i'm sure some of you guys saw it so i'll be sharing the haul of the things that we got as soon as i can i didn't get any toys though but i'm excited to share everything that we got for them when i look in your eyes i don't know how but it feels like i'm drunk on you it's almost like you make me
Moving on to our bedroom, Jake and I, we pretty much keep it clean and on the days that it is a mess, well, it's a complete disaster. There is no in between, sadly to say, but recently we both agreed on like switching it up a tad bit in here. So right now we have a bed that sits pretty high. So we've considered getting a new bed and getting rid of some of the furniture in here just to open up the space. I'm excited to share the plans that I've come up with so far for this space, like decor wise. I'm just really excited to share that with you guys. Even though we are opening up the space, Space. we still do love this space being smaller and just feeling like we are so close together but we do want to open up the space so we can have like a sitting area with each other In our bathroom, I'm going to wipe it down really quick. We've made some changes in here too, and it's still more to come. I've cleared out the sinks only because we're going to be transforming those spaces soon. In the direction we're going with, everything that was upstairs in the bathroom needs to go downstairs in the other bathroom. So we're going to be cleaning this bathroom upstairs and then I'm going to move you guys downstairs with me because we have to get that bathroom wiped out. And once we're all done with the bathrooms, I'm going to take you guys along with me to get laundry, decorating, and just some rearranging done around the apartment.
Downstairs in this bathroom, I know you guys haven't seen this area a lot, but I really do have some very special plans for this bathroom, some unique plans for this bathroom, and I'm excited to be sharing them with you guys. I spend a lot of time in here, so I'm ready to just revamp the space and share with you guys everything that I've been planning. I'm just ready to see it all come to life. To wipe everything down and clean our toilet, I am just using both bleach cleaners. The first bleach cleaner was like a multi-surface bleach cleaner. And then the toilet bowl cleaner that I have is a soft scrub with bleach mixed in with it. And then I'm just using that to clean the inside of our toilet and just wipe everything down. Not the soft scrub. I'm using the bleach spray to wipe everything down. And I'm using the soft scrub inside the toilet because you can use this on toilets, sinks, tubs, everything. After I wiped down the bathrooms, I picked up some things the next day. We finally got some curtains hung in our living room and our dining room. Both spaces are really coming together and honestly, I just wasn't sure which set of curtains I wanted where. But we did get both sets from Walmart and they're just some quick ads, but we've actually fell in love with them, y'all. All Right now, I'm just going to sweep and mop our floor before we hang the curtains. Jake and I, we have completely transformed this living room, so it doesn't look like this at all right now. 
So at the end of today's video, I'll be sharing like some sneak peeks of what we have going on and what we're working with before we get all of our new things. But for right now, we're just going to sweep and mop the floor and get these curtains home. To deep clean our floor today, I am just once again going in with my Shark Steam Mop. I've had this thing for years and I absolutely love it. This is my holy grail when it comes to deep cleaning our floors. And I honestly can't see me using anything else other than this and like an O Cedar Mop whenever I do something like, you know, quick cleans. Other than that, I absolutely love our Steam Mop. Is the curtain rod that Tesha picked out today at Walmart. So she has some curtains over there that she's gonna show you guys in just a little bit. It is pretty big, so it can go anywhere from 42 inches to 120 inches long. And basically be like as small as this, or it can be super long to cover like that whole wall. So we're gonna get it put up. Um, and then I have a box of hardware that has some stuff in it. I'm gonna show you guys what's in there. So we'll just have like the anchors and hooks and stuff like that. She's awake all the time. What are you trying to find? I hope this ain't a lie. Cause I'm vibing with all we have. Yeah, I'm feeling what we are now. I'm laying down on the ground. All I do is thinking out loud. Yeah, I'm vibing with. So here's the first set of curtains that we picked up for the living room. I just went ahead and got four 
printed curtains and then I ended up using just two sheer curtains I don't know if I'm gonna go back in and add like more sheer curtains but for right now I think Jaquen did a wonderful job like adding the curtains I think they look so good but this is how it looks thus far I went ahead and put these curtains in the living room and then in the dining room we went with white curtains but I'll share how that looks later but for right now I am so happy with how this looks I did want to go ahead and add our rug, but that did not turn out how I wanted it to turn out. So we're going to wait on the rug for now, but I was happy with the curtains being added and just seeing like a little bit of a refreshment before we transform the living room. Up the mark on the line through a fall in the night. No, I'm here. As I said earlier, I am going to be sharing a sneak peek of our living room after the first round of transformations. We have so much more to come, but today is probably the biggest start that we've ever had. But before we can get to that, I just want to share tackling some of our laundry. I didn't have much space and time to film at all, but I really want to share some of it so y'all know that I'm working on more content. But with the ripping and running and the errands and the wash house, church, work, and so much more, it's been us and our whole apartment in havoc. So. I did manage to get some of it washed and folded, but not all in one night. I was really happy with getting these things done, no matter what, so I really hope you guys are enjoying the video. So here at the wash house, I think I did about eight loads of laundry this day. I just didn't have all the time to film it all and share it all with you guys. But I did try to get some of it filmed so you guys can see that I was just trying to bring you guys along with me and share some laundry motivation. Now we do go to the wash house to get all of our laundry and things like that done because our apartment does not have a washer and dryer. We have considered getting a portable washer and dryer, but we're still figuring out all the details for that. So for right now, this is what we are working with and you know, it's a little bit harder, but that's okay. In my time, this is probably like the first time that we've come to a wash house like this consistently. And I'm so happy that we have one so close to us, like basically for our apartment buildings. So I'm really happy about that, but it is very different going to the wash house versus having a washer and dryer inside the home. But I'm sure we all can relate to going to the wash house at some point in our lives. It's just that this is what we are dealing with now and this is our story. And I'm just excited to bring you guys along the journey with us and just share some of this motivation.
At the end of the night in the back and forth from the wash house i just want to sit down and just fold a little bit of the laundry just to get it done i did have to finish london's hair so i couldn't tackle it all in this night but i was happy with everything that we were able to get done over these three days i had completed our whole apartment upstairs and downstairs washing london's hair completing my hair completing like feed in braids for the first time as well as tackling eight loads of laundry each basket that you guys see here was about two loads apiece, and then we added some decor, wrapped gifts, and we transformed downstairs. So there's going to be a lot of different things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, and I hope you guys are ready. But aside from that, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!